Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday, the 16th of February. Today, with Robert Murray McShain, we read 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Paul's talking about leadership and ministry in the church, and he's saying that there have been various people who've ministered to the Corinthians, but they were all doing the same thing, building the Corinthians. One of them, Paul, would lay the foundation. Another, Apollos, would come and build the walls of what is the temple of God. And then verse uh, 15, he says, sorry, 16, don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? And we need to remind ourselves that, that as a church, we together are the temple of God and that's where God's spirit dwells. Yes, God fills each of us individually with his, with his spirit, but the spirit is particularly present in Christians together. And then Paul has a warning if anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is sacred, and you together are that temple. And that's a warning about people who break the church. Now, this isn't a warning about people outside the church, because throughout history, people have been trying to destroy the church. <laughs> In Paul's day, the Roman Empire was trying to crush the, the, the church and stop it from, from growing the the Jewish authorities were opposing the spread of the gospel. It didn't work. The gospel spread, the church grew, and by the year three, mid-300s, Christianity was the official um, religion of Rome. That was problematic, but the oppression didn't stop it. Likewise, more recently, in the 1900s, when Mao Zedong took over China, he drove the Christian missionaries out, and everyone thought in the West, oh, that's the end of the church. Um, the persecution has started, the church will close. It didn't. When finally the West was allowed back in, they found the church had grown. It was stronger than it had been. Um, there were many, many, many more Christians than there had been when the, the missionaries were driven out. The church had flourished. People outside the church don't destroy it. They might pressurize it. They might um, uh, make it uncomfortable. They might make individuals suffer, but they cannot destroy the church. Destruction of the church comes from within. And Paul has been talking about the people building the church. And when people who are supposed to build the church use the wrong materials, when they start not using the gospel but using the philosophies of the age, when they try and align themselves with the thinking of the world, when leadership of the church tries to accommodate the world and move the church to a position where it doesn't challenge the society of the day, that's where the destruction will come from. Um, because when we get away from God, the spirit will not be present. God doesn't just give his spirit because we call ourselves the church. He pours his spirit where we're aligned with his will and his, um, and his revelation. And so we need constantly to be praying for the leadership of the church. Pray for the local leadership, um, myself and Jerry and the others in leadership here. But we pray for the, the wider church leadership as well. Uh, the leaders must continue to lead in the way of Christ. Otherwise, the church is destroyed. Be challenged. Please pray and be blessed.